Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. All right, guys. So as you heard in the last video, the turbo came off the truck just because that turbo was smoking really bad and it was actually making me lose more power than the truck already doesn't have. So chopped it off. What we're going to do today is we're going to do a hood exit on it. Got a piece of pipe here. I'm going to weld it on so like this. And it's going to come straight out the hood. It's going to be loud. But at least I have the 65 horsepower this truck makes to the crank or to the wheels. And I can have fun with it. I just went and got gas for the welder. So we're going to tack it all on. And then we're going to mark where I need to cut the hole at. And then we're going to use a hole saw, put a hole in it, and weld it all up. work out as good as I hoped <laughs> but yeah but it put a ding right there so I'm a whole solid around that area right in there so, yeah there's a little ding here that's the back of it so I'm gonna try and come a little more
sun that was supposed to be a nice, simple little hole. <laughs> and to this nasty looking hole. I still got to come up higher, I guess. Um, don't worry. I'll clean it up. I'll, melt. I'll make a plate that goes around it. And it looks circular, so it still looks good. I'm just going to have to bring this line up a little higher. It's still hitting right here. So I'm going to get this done. Alright guys, and there's the hood exit. I'm not going to keep it this long. I'm probably going to cut it down about right here or so. So I'll cut it halfway, a little more than halfway down. So, yeah, there's that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the rear shocks, and we're just going to keep going on it, you know? Alright guys, so we got the truck up on jack stands. We're going to go ahead and remove the shocks. Got the new ones here. Got a couple tools that I'll need. So, one bolt right there, and then there's two bolts up here, and the whole shock comes out. So let's get these pulled out real quick. For the top ones, they're just proteins. Just like that, the one's off. Then you grab your fancy, nice looking new one. install that one. And get some cutters. Cut the Tighten her up. That piece you got. And then this all put together. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the other side and get the other one done, guys. So um, I just jacked up the front end and shook the wheels. There's no play in it, so I don't know what it is. But I know I got play in the steering wheel. It might be the gearbox. But I'm gonna run up the tires plus real quick, have them put in the air, and see what it is, and then I'll buy, replace it, and then try and get a line today. So. I'm going to head up to Tires Plus right now. <laughs> Alright guys, so get back to Tires Plus. They don't have time to do the alignment on it today. So I made an appointment for it tomorrow. So I dropped the truck off in the morning. And they'll get the alignment done on it. I stopped at Tucker's house. We're going to help him try and finish putting his 5-speed stuff in. Like the clutch pedal assembly and everything. The motor's completely done. Just working on the truck part of it now. Where he can put the pedal in. All that crap that he needs to put in it. So he can put the 5 speeds in it. Truck runs good. I slid a little bit driving it around. Um, the shocks helped a lot. There's not much wheel hop. There's still wheel hop, but once I go to a smaller tire, it won't hop as much. 
so which I got tires um, <clears throat> I'm gonna be picking up some more wheels like I told you in another video I bought some more wheels for it so not in a rush to go get those yet just cuz I mean the drift event still like 11 days away from when I'm making this video so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and help Tucker with his truck try and get his truck done I know his truck won't be ready for the event but I know Brian and Bradley's truck is done their trucks are running so Brandon got his truck so I'll just go out there we're just going to push, see how far we can get on Tucker's truck today. Hopefully we can get his truck done soon so he can start sliding with us since me and him are the only ones with second gens. <laughs> so his is just going to be a lot faster than mine. Mine's probably going to be a lot louder than his. Well, it is louder than his, but his is definitely going to be faster until the 350 swap comes. Or if he puts boost to this. So, but here's the motor guys all assembled. Nice and pretty. ARP studs and everything. New freeze plugs. New gaskets. Rear main seal, front main seal. Pretty much resealed the whole motor. So, and then I showed you all the training before. Um, if anyone is interested, he's got an LT1 he'll sell. And the automatic transmission. Nothing's wrong with the trans. He just... All right, focus. All right, he just figured while well, the motor's out and everything, he might as well five-speed swap it. So, me and four foot two right here is gonna work on his truck. <laughs> For real. So, I know a couple people's actually hit me up and asked about Tucker where he's been. So, he's still around. Just he's got two, two, three jobs now. Two jobs. Oh yeah, you quit when Dixie, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. But you gotta hustle, make that money so we can get these trucks done. Oh, yeah. So that's just how it goes right there. <clears throat> He's got the bracket already mounted up. He's just drilling the hole. And I guess, I didn't know, but. There's already like a little hole there. Not holes, but well, like the indention, yeah, like the... like a center punch style kind of thing, right? Yep. So then you just drill out those holes, kind of like on a 240, the same thing, where it's already like pre like molded, I guess. So you just got to drill that out. You got to get the brake boost obviously out of the way. And I think we should clean that before we put it in. Painted some baller ass color. You can hear it. <laughs> That's why I hate flux. Day, I'm gonna take that set up the tires plus right now so they can do the alignment on it and I'm actually gonna have them do the oil change I forgot that I had to do that it's just cheaper for them to do it is like 25 bucks and I don't have to get dirty <laughs> doing that shit so yeah I'm gonna drop it off right now grab some to eat next door and then see what happens with the alignment and get this truck going because we ain't got much longer until this event guys so keep on pushing Alright guys, um, 
you probably cannot tell. Probably cannot tell in the video because how loud the exhaust is on this. But this bottom end is completely knocking. The motor actually locked up on it twice and I got it freed. Um, it's overheating as hell. And I think the head gasket is blown definitely. And the bottom end is just knocking. Like there's no power. Like I could put it to the floor through first, second, and third. And it barely makes it over 30 miles an hour. And it won't rev past like 3,500 to 4,000 RPM. So this is done. So right now we're going to go look at something. That's going to be replacing this. But you won't see that in this video. I'm closing this video out here. And then start another video. But y'all better stay tuned for the other one. So, like always guys, like, comment, subscribe, share. And it ain't the end of this truck. We're going to try and make it to the 25th with this truck.